Last time we walked through an example that showed uh, how to get a function, equation, circuit from a truth table. Uh, and the way we did that was for each one in the truth table, we wrote down a term that indicated what inputs are required to make that happen. Uh, this video is going to go through a little bit of uh, terminology that helps us to have shorthand when we're describing this, because this is going to be a common process and we're going to see this happen in far more complicated situations. Every possible input combination in a circuit, in a function, the number of possible combinations depends on the number of inputs. If there are two inputs, there are four combinations. If there are three inputs, there are going to be eight combinations. Each of these combinations can correspond to a single term in an equation or an expression that also describes this, uh, this logical equivalency between these inputs and that output. And we have special names. <clears throat> these names are min terms. The word min term corresponds to a term in an expression that relates to a complete um, set of input. Right? So in this case, there are four min terms. We call this min term 0 min term 1, min term 2, and min term 3. And that just corresponds to the binary um, code that is the integer represented by that input combination. So 0, 0 is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Those are our min terms, and we can draw out the original function that we had in a kind of shorthand using these min terms. So our original function, indicated by terms that are, represent what outputs would be 1 in the expression, this original function is uh, c prime h or c h prime or c h. Those are the three terms that are 1 in this truth table, which means if any of these input combinations are true, that lights up one of these terms and that causes the output to be 1. So these are called min terms, okay? And this min term is uh, indicated by or is the equivalent to this set of inputs. So if c is 0 and if h is 1, this term is 1 and these are all 0. And that's the nice thing about min terms is only one of them can be active or equal to 1 at a time because of the way we've translated from the truth table into the expression. And that means we know exactly what's happening in that circuit. So min terms, these are the names for them, and these are the corresponding inputs, and this is what it looks like in an expression. Now what's the shorthand? Well, instead of writing this stuff out, we can just write out the min term. Uh, this is min term 1, and this is min term 2, and this is min term 3. So this is L is min term 1, min term 2, min term 3. And we can also call that a sum of min terms 1, 2, and 3. So this is a shorthand for the logical expression that corresponds to this set of inputs. Sum of min terms 1, 2, and 3. And this seems like a simple thing to do in this kind of a context, but once I show you an example of a more complicated circuit, you'll see why this shorthand is useful. And when we get to simplifications, you'll see why this shorthand is useful as well. So this is min terms, and they correspond to the places in the circuit where, or the places in the function where the output would be 1, corresponding to one set of input combinations. Now there's another thing we can look at, is instead of looking at the 1s, which are here, we can look at the zeros, which are there. These are the max terms. Now this is the opposite kind of a thing. Put this up here, max terms. And these correspond to the list, whoops, you can't see that. Haha, <laughs> where couldn't I put it so I can see it? Right about here. And the max terms correspond to the places in the circuit where the output is zero. Now where, how could you write this so that the output is zero? Well, in fact, this is the opposite of the min terms. Max term zero corresponds to when the outputs are zero and zero. Sorry, max term three corresponds when the outputs are 0, 0. Max term 2, uh, this is not as good. We need to talk a little bit about min terms and max terms and working from and solidifying. So we won't do that, but we'll do it next time.